it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I want to show you the planners that I picked up from the Happy Planners Fall Release. Um, I got three planners and one um, accessory pack. So let's go ahead and get started. I did get a dashboard layout. I told you guys I got a dashboard layout. Um, I don't remember what this one's called. I will look it up for you. Let me do that right now. Um, it's going to take me a minute. I got to look at my trash. Okay, so this one is called Folk and Flora, Flora, Folk and Flora, however you say that. Um, and it's a classic size dashboard layout. And then we have Forest Flowers. So this one is Forest Flowers. And I'm going to do a flip through, of course. And then this is the 2025 Work Plus Life Ivory Planner. This is my favorite. I say, I'm going to save it for last. So, um, and then the accessory pack I got is Work Plus Life Onyx Classic Accessory Pack. So, let's go ahead and start flipping through. So, this dashboard layout, of course, starts in January, goes to December. Not crazy about the disc choice on this planner. Of course, I'm going to change discs, but that I'll have a whole complete separate um, setup video for all my planners. But here's the cover, the front cover, and then the back cover. Really pretty. All right, so let's flip inside. We've got our inside cover, really pretty. You could easily switch these around. Um, you would have to turn this one upside down and put it on the back side, though. This is really kind of scratched up inside, but it's okay. Um, so we have our cover sheets. And then we have the two years at a glance, 2025 and 2026. These pages that I never use um, for pre-planning, I really should use them, but I don't. Um, so then we go into our just our normal, what people normally call a currently page. So this is a January divider with some gold foiling. Um, again, I love, I always say this, I love the neutral or the... It's, I say neutral, but it's the black and white with no decor decorations on my planner insert. So um, we go into January. Again, you see it's neutral, black and white, just a little bit of polka dots down the spine. Same thing for your weeklies. Um, we have the long priorities list, important looking ahead and notes. So yeah, just your basic um, dashboard layout. And then we go to the February currently page. And then we'll just, now we're going to do um, dividers. So we have February be the sunshine. I love the colors in this planner. March. April has some rose gold. This might actually be copper foil. So there's April. May, born to shine. June with some gold foil. Hello, wonderful life. July, dream like nothing stands in your way. August. September, enjoy the beauty of ordinary things. October, enjoy the little things in life. November, gold foil. Um, it says, bloom and grow, be strong and know that you're beautifully you. And then December. And then the last page of the planner is a notes page. So that's the dashboard layout that I'm going to be using as a catch-all next year. <clears throat> The horizontal layout is next. I like these green discs, but I'm not a plastic disc person, so they're going to come off. Um, but the horizontal layout this year has changed, and I welcome the change, honestly. So this is the inside cover. Oh, let me show you. Outside cover, front, outside cover, back. And then the, oops, the inside cover is this blue with some stars on it. So then we go to our... Um, I forgot what I called this. <laughs> it's a name page. Basically, this planner belongs to. We have our two years at a glance and the pre-planning pages again. Y'all let me know in the comments how you use these pages. Um, I really need some ideas. And then we go into the currently. The currently looks the same as in the other planner, I think, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. Yeah. Yeah. Currently are the same. Um, but the horizontal layout this year has changed. Again, we have that neutral with just the polka dots down the center. But this year, for their horizontal, instead of the lines going all the way across, you can see that on the right side, they have split the horizontal box and put checklists. So what I'm going to use this for, so I'll do like a daily journal entry here, and then this will be for gratitude or things I'm grateful for, blessings, things like that, positive things um, 
that happen during the day. We'll go in that section. So I really like this, this new layout. Um, and then we go into our February currently. February, let joy be your compass with some copper foiling. March. April, copper foil. I cannot see what this says. Be kinder to yourself and then let your kindness flood the world. May, trust the weight, embrace the uncertainty, enjoy the beauty of becoming. June, July, find the beauty in today. August, we do not remember days, we remember moments. September, gold foil, you owe it to yourself to become everything you've ever dreamed of being. I like that. October, in every season, be grateful. November. And then December has gold foil. Uh, embrace what is good. And then your last page will be your notes page again. So now let's do my favorite planner. Not my favorite layout, but my favorite planner is this Work Plus Life Deluxe Weekly Planner. So it has the rose gold metal discs, but these do not have hearts in the center. It's just a just a circle in the center, but it has this deluxe cover, and it, this cover is very similar but not the same to their deluxe snap-in covers. So this is the front, and it's called Ivory. Very pretty. I wish it didn't say 2025 on here, but it does, so it's okay. Um, and I might be able to actually take some acetone and get those words off of there. I may try that. Um, I'll let you know how that turns out. But anyway, so we have the, the pockets on the inside front cover, but then your back cover, and this is the part that I really love. It doesn't have the pocket, but it has a pin loop. And I always love to have a pin loop on my planners. This one's built in, so definitely worth the money to me. Um, not sure what I'm going to use the hourly layout for, or if I even really will use it. I may just take the guts out of here and put my um, dashboard layout inside of the cover and the discs. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so he comes with some stickers with, um, I guess this is, it's either rose gold or copper foil. And then we have our name page. That's what it's called, name page. So we go into just a 2025 calendar. This page is notes page. We have these calendar pages. I like the font. The font's really pretty and sophisticated looking. So what they did with this planner is they put October, November, December's monthlies in here so that you could start using this planner um, without the weekly pages. You can use it with the monthlies for October, November, and December. So we have those. And then we go into January, make the most of today. Um, so this is January. We have our monthly. If you'll notice, there's nothing on the spine. There's no decoration or nothing. It's just black and white, and I love that. Um, so we have January's monthly. Then it goes into, this would um, be, I guess, almost like a currently page, but it's at the beginning of the month. Um, so you can do focus on a to-do list, important dates. You've got some holidays down here. Then it has a place for monthly goals. Goal one, two, three. Um, you can do your action steps and then a reflection. Now we go into our weeklies. So this is an hourly layout. So you have your vertical box at the top. It goes from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, and then, of course, your sidebar on the side. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to use this layout for or if I'm even going to use it. If I was going to use it, I would probably ignore the hourly section and just make this like a running daily to-do list, maybe with um, important things for the day up top or goals or something like that. Um, but I'm not sure that I'm going to use this layout at all. So then after our weekly pages, there is no currently. You just have a notes page at the end of the month. All right, so let's do the dividers. We have February, train your mind to see good in everything. March, reset, re realign, reclaim, reignite. April, it's a perfect day to start. May, make the most of today. June, train your mind to see the good in everything. July is again, reset, realign, reclaim, reignite. I think these dividers just duplicate um they they repeat that's what i'm trying to think of this is august it's a perfect day to start make the most of today for september october train your mind to see the good in everything and november yeah we're just we're just 
resetting and reusing the same dividers with different months on them Re reset realign reclaim and reignite and then it's a perfect day to start just with different colors same wording um what i may actually do with this planner these discs aren't very easy to turn um, and you may find that be the case with your new planners but if you'll just kind of turn your discs um, the more you use it the easier it'll turn on the discs. sometimes you just kind of have to get the new off but i may um franken plan this planner with um the monthly tabs this sheet because i like this sheet at the at the beginning of the month versus the currently at the end of the month and then the goals i don't know that i would really use goals but maybe the goal page and then maybe franken plan this into my dashboard layout i don't know that's an idea too so stay tuned for that video um, where i set up my planners for 2025 and then the last thing I got is um, this planner accessories. This is called um, an accessory pack, I think. So it just comes with a little bit of fill paper, some stickers, a dashboard divider, and a folder. So let's open it up and just take a look. I did open everything um, to kind of get the, the plastic and the crinkly sounds out of the video, just to, in case that it bothers anyone. So we have, um, let me look real quick. It's probably... 20 sheets of note paper. So we have 20 sheets of this black and white dot dotted lined note paper. I wish they would do the solid lines again, but they do dotted line for some reason. It says notes up at the top. So I like that. Um, and then we have just our folder. So just a pocket folder. Um, it comes with two sheets of stickers. This is silver foil. This is um, gold foil. So I like the stickers. And then it also comes with this dashboard divider, which I'll never use. But if you get your dashboard dividers and they look kind of dull, there is usually a liner on top um, that you just have to pull off. It keeps it from getting scratched. But then, of course, you have all these little pieces that you have to peel off. Excuse my Band-Aid on my arm. I said in my last video, I'm a vet tech. So I do wrestle critters with claws every day <laughs> not wrestle but i do hold them and restrain them and all that fun stuff so i do get scratched up at work anyways so this is the back side and this is the front side now it's a lot more shiny all right and so that is it for my planner haul from the happy planner i did not buy any stickers because i always find myself wasting money on sticker books and using one or two sheets and never using the sticker books so not to mention i make my own stickers so why would i spend money on other stickers um anyways these are the three planners that i'll be using for 2025 i may or may not add another planner who knows um i don't know so we'll see but if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button follow me over on instagram and let me know in the comments below which planners you picked up for 2025 so that's it for this video i'll see you guys on the next one love y'all see you later bye guys